Hello, my name is Davina and this is my corner of the internet. Today I'm going to talk about hip hop. I am a big fan of everyone that is involved in this beef actually, so I feel quite important because my opinion matters to those around me and I agree. First off, basically what had happened was Metro Bowman released a album with Future. These are great artists. A majority of my hip hop listening is produced by Metro and Future is great. The people he is featured with or if there is someone on it with him, that tends to be my kind of area. Timeline of rap beef. A few weeks ago I was studying in, a sh in Costa and I was just having a video in the background where it was explaining the entire Kendrick and Drake beef but this was all before like that came out. Apparently it was just such a sneak hate at the start even though Drake was the person that was, uh, sh you know, he put Kendrick on his own tour and wanted to make it, you know, just wants to help him out, I guess. And then he released Good Kid Mad City and it went futuristic from there. So it all started when Kendrick released, uh, was on, was on Big Sean's Control. But this is hip hop and these people should know what time it is. And that goes for Jermaine Cole, Big Crit. Wally, Pusha T, Meek Mills, ASAP. I love how everyone calls Meek Mill Meek Mills. Nobody respects his name. <laughs> Especially now. Nobody respects his name. It's always all the Meek Mills of the world. It's never, it's never like, it's always plural. He can never stand on his own. ASAP Rocky, Drake, Big Sean, J Electronica, Tyler, Mac Miller. I've got love for you all, but I'm trying to aim or do. So that was the start. People had a majority of feelings upon that. And then he came out with a cipher that he apparently threw shots on again. There's just a majority of things and then blah 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 we get to first person shooter. When this album came out I only enjoyed a couple of the songs. I wasn't a huge fan of it. But first person shooter is still like on my rotation right now. And that's when Cole decided to just, you know, show some love between himself, Drake, and Kendrick. Love when they argue the hardest MC. Is it K-Dot? Is it Aubrey or me? We the big three, like we started a league, but right now I feel like Muhammad Ali. So there, it's just showing love. Everyone was enjoying this as they should. Everyone enjoyed the music video as they should. It was, it was nice because as an audience, we only see what we're given. We're given pictures, we're given videos whenever someone else or the people themselves have shared it. So there's a bunch of times where in the hip hop world, we wonder if artists are pals with each other or not. So in this instance, it's like kind of a, kind of a heads up showing us that, yeah, we're still good. And then of course, there is speculation that Metro and Drake had fallen out. Whenever whenever people say, whenever an album comes out, whenever a song comes out, people tend to just share lines from a song and they instantly say, this was against this, this was... It. Like, for example, there's a Drake line where he says someone sounds better on mute and everyone said, oh, that's against Ice Spice. I'm not saying... um. I'm right in thinking that it's not. I'm not saying that. But how do you know that? How do you know that it was about Ice Spice? And, and when I go online, everyone's saying like, oh, this is against... Da -da -da -da. And, and I'm so confused because I'm like, it's the most... It could be the most tiptoeish line. It could be the most vague line of all time. And everyone and their mother will know who that's about. That's a fault I have. I can't tell who you're dissing. I can't. So yeah, Metro and Drake have fallen out. And again, I didn't I wasn't aware of that until until he, Drake shared a 
Instagram story and then he covered up Metro's name which confirmed it to me. Then of course Metro is releasing an album with Future and I did not think that Future and Drake had any beef because come on um, like, I mean because Drake had a track called What Would Pluto Do? That kind of tells me okay they're, they're fine. When albums come out I don't instantly go to listen to it because it's so hyped, it's so hot at the moment that I don't want any spoilers, I don't want to rush through it. I am such, I'm a person who always, I, I, I always wait months. It's just, a th I think it's probably just a, an attention thing. This went off on Twitter, everyone's saying uh, shots have been thrown against Drake. I'm like, Jesus. Then I go on TikTok and the song is like, everyone is just, all I hear is the, the easy sample and I'm like no wonder this is a hit that's such a catchy line he says f the big three it's just big me okay yeah that's that's mean not that line wasn't mean but the majority of it was of course right I'm not gonna go through it all because it's just it's just whatever because then then Drake releases like a well he didn't release there was a leak and uh we, we hear his diss, diss track and I loved it. I was actually at work when it came out and I had like my phone up to hear it as I'm doing my work and I'm like, dear lord, I hope to Jesus this is not AI because this is super catchy and this would be a perfect response right now. I think that because I always, honestly, I want to relive the back-to-back -back moment in hip-hop. I was in England when back-to-back -back came out um, just for a visit and it was it was crazy just waking up that morning and just being on Twitter for hours and hours just seeing all these memes and seeing what has been said seeing va various uh, interpretations behind the lines and just again the memes were unbelievable and of course this time is where the OVO Fest was almost gonna take place so Everyone was going to be there. This is like because twenty. This is why I say twenty sixteen was a brilliant year for hip hop. I'm not a hip hop enthusiast. I'm not a person that knows everything. I I just I enjoy it so much, especially when it comes to the artists that I listen to all the time. I just whenever anyone disses Drake, and he re he wishes to reply. I want that back. I want that back-to-back -back moment. And I think he's given it again. Then Metro and Future released another, so like a, a part two of their album, We Still Don't Trust You. And there's even more shots being given towards Drake. And I, it was, it was so mad because it's just, I guess it's been like a lingering belief that Drake has done some bad stuff. But Nobody has confirmed anything just yet. So he is always sending sneak disses. When people reply, it's very black or white. Who are you gonna who are you gonna side with? Why are you gonna side with them? Is there a re yada yada, right? It's it's all that kind of stuff. And it's just it's just fun to see, especially when it's people you love. What I thought about the J, J. Cole apology. When I heard his response to Kendrick, I enjoyed the beat switch. I wasn't, I, I can't really, I can't really comprehend it that well the first time. I need to keep listening to it. So that's why Twitter can be quite bad or good when it comes to that, because it can really, really sway my belief. So in this case, I liked, I liked the diss. However, I did not agree when he said that Butterfly was a sleeper album. No, no way, man. Don't, don't, don't say that. I didn't, I didn't like that. That was not, that's not, I don't agree. To Pimp a Butterfly, just like many others, is my favorite, one of my favorite albums of all time. I listened to it during a very significant moment in my life and it's, it's just stuck. It's very beautifully curated and it's it's perfect so that's why just when Cole said that I'm just like what 
come on. I really liked the beat switch because it was, of course, a sample of Energy by Drake. And I thought, oh, that's that's a good touch to it. But then he apologised and I watched it and I thought, okay, maybe this is a sign that he just didn't want to diss him. But he couldn't help but think, what is all of this, what is everything you've been saying, what was all that for? It's, it's confusing. I respect him a lot and if that's what he wants to do, if he wants to apologise to Kendrick, that's fine. But I didn't, I don't really view it as an apology. I feel that it's just a statement that it didn't feel right to do it for him because maybe he is, he just, I don't know how to word it. I feel that he feels that it wasn't a good step in his career to do that. I think I think that's what he meant. He took it off because it must have been just something that he never really intended to do, but maybe the pressure got to him and he felt that this is just something I have to throw out there. That's what I think. I think I don't think it was it was an apology. We all have those moments. We all do stuff and then we think, why the hell did I do that? That wasn't cool or what was I thinking? So yeah, I don't I don't I think just to be that first person to make a move, maybe maybe that's what he thought. I respect what he said. I respect that he took the the song off streaming. Uh that's that. Then Drake released his song and I enjoyed it a lot. That was quite that was that was quite funny. I found it tough trying to find the download link to that. I couldn't download straight off YouTube because the audio for that is it's very up and down. You can't tell if it's gonna be good or not. So hip hop has been amazing. It's been thriving this year. Uh that's just my thoughts towards that. Well, there's not many people in my circle that are into this stuff, so the only way I can communicate anything is through social media and just like look at everyone else on TikTok talking about it. I found I find it hilarious how Drake didn't even respond to Rocky. Just just left him out of it. Ross and Tim have been going back and forth on IG stories, through memes. That's been brilliant. So I have thoroughly been enjoying this this time of hip hop. It's been fabulous. Uh, I hope we get more out of it and I hope that Kendrick releases the diss he has apparently had for four years. You don't get this anywhere else. Yes, on Twitter, people who are in the pop genre get talked about, get compared against. Not e- yeah, not even to anymore. Against. It's not as interesting as hip hop. It, it, it isn't. Hip hop just, it's so fun to talk about. It's so fun to decipher everything. It's much, much better when seeing, just seeing these artists prove themselves. Start something. Oh my god. Kendrick came out of nowhere doing this. That's why I love. I don't want it to be like a sneak this here, sneak this there and it's oh, diss them out of nowhere. JJ did that. KSI did that. And that's when the second span of diss tracks happened on YouTube. How fire was that? To this day, 80s is my favourite. I listen to it all the time. And Quadeca. I finally got into Quadeca because of that. Anyway, I have 40 seconds left. Uh, I enjoyed this and I hope to do more of it very soon. Hip hop is thriving and well. I am a big enjoyer of it. And yes, everyone have a great day. It's been raining heavily right now, which I kind of like, but the sun has gone, so the lighting isn't that great. Uh, See you guys later. This has been Davina and ciao.